Across our planet, we find bodies of water, serene and tranquil, reflecting the sky like shards of glass. But beauty can be deceiving. Beneath the surface of some lakes, danger lurks. Forces both natural and man-made transform these tranquil waters into perilous traps. Join me if you dare as we explore the depths of these dangerous lakes, their mysteries hidden beneath shimmering surfaces. Our journey begins in the African nation of Cameroon, home to Lake Neos, a lake of breathtaking beauty nestled high in a volcanic region. But this serene facade masks a deadly secret. Expert geologist, you see deep beneath the surface, magma releases carbon dioxide into the lake. This gas dissolves in the water, accumulating over time like a ticking time bomb. In 1986, this bomb detonated. A limnic eruption occurred, releasing a massive cloud of carbon dioxide. This invisible cloud, heavier than air, swept down the slopes of the volcano, suffocating over 1,700 people and countless animals within a 16-mile radius. Today, scientists monitor Lake Neos closely, working to dig it and prevent another catastrophe. Large pipes reach deep into the lake, releasing the carbon dioxide slowly and safely into the atmosphere. It's a delicate operation, a constant battle against invisible forces. Our next stop takes us to the border of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, home to Lake Kivu. This lake, like Lake Neos, sits within a volcanic region, but the danger here is even more complex. Environmental scientists, this methane, if released, could be catastrophic, potentially more devastating than the Nios disaster. The danger lies in the delicate balance of the lake's layers. Disrupting this balance, whether through natural geological activity or human interference, could trigger a chain reaction, releasing the deadly gases. While posing a significant threat, the methane trapped within its depths also offers a potential source of energy. Extraction projects are underway, aiming to tap into this resource and power the surrounding region. However, this extraction must be done with extreme caution. The slightest misstep could upset the delicate balance of the lake, potentially triggering a disaster of unimaginable proportions. Journey with me to Tanzania's arid plains where we find Lake Natron, captivating yet deadly. This shallow saline lake shimmers under the scorching sun, a canvas of vibrant reds and oranges. But this beauty is deceptive. Highly alkaline, its waters are deadly to most animals. Those entering the water quickly succumb, their bodies preserved as calcified statues, yet life finds a way. Cyanobacteria thrive, painting the lake's surface. Lesser flamingos breed here, their nests safe from predators. Even in extreme environments, nature's resilience shines through. Our exploration now takes us to the Caribbean island of Dominica, home to a place that seems straight out of legend Boiling Lake. Shrouded in steam and mist, this lake is a cauldron of bubbling gray-blue water, a testament to the Earth's fiery heart. Boiling Lake is the second largest hot spring in the world. Its waters heated by molten lava that lies just beneath the surface. Temperatures at the lake's edges reach a scalding 197 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to cause severe burns. The lake's surface churns and bubbles, releasing plumes of sulfurous steam that fill the air with a pungent aroma. The water level fluctuates dramatically, sometimes rising and falling several feet in a matter of hours. Boiling Lake is a window into the Earth's inner workings, a place where the planet's raw power is on full display. While dangerous and inaccessible, Boiling Lake is a popular destination for adventurous hikers who brave the challenging terrain for a glimpse of this natural wonder. We journey now to the United States, to a place called Horseshoe Lake, located in California. At first glance, this lake appears serene, a popular spot for camping and recreation. Horseshoe Lake is a meromictic lake, meaning its layers of water do not mix. Over time, carbon dioxide, produced by the decomposition of organic matter in the lake's depths, has accumulated in the bottom layer, trapped by the layers above. This creates a deadly situation, as a sudden release of this gas can be fatal. In 1989 and 1990, Horseshoe Lake made headlines when it released large amounts of carbon dioxide, killing trees in the surrounding area. Today, authorities monitor the lake closely, using sensors to detect changes in gas levels. Warning signs are posted, alerting visitors to the potential danger and advising them to stay away from areas where carbon dioxide might be present. 
Our journey now takes us to the Great Lakes region of North America, where we encounter Lake Michigan, one of the five largest freshwater lakes in the world. This vast body of water, often referred to as an inland sea, holds a unique set of dangers. Lake Michigan is known for its unpredictable weather patterns. Sudden shifts in wind direction and speed can whip up towering waves in a matter of minutes, catching even experienced boaters off guard. These rogue waves, often referred to as meteor tsunamis, can reach heights of over 10 feet, posing a serious threat to swimmers, kayakers, and small boats. They can capsize vessels, sweep people off piers, and create dangerous rip currents. Adding to the danger are the lake's strong currents, influenced by its size, depth, and the prevailing winds. These currents can quickly pull swimmers far from shore, leading to exhaustion and drowning. We now venture to the southern Ural Mountains of Russia, to a place shrouded in secrecy and fear, Lake Karachay. This lake, once a dumping ground for nuclear waste, is considered one of the most polluted places on Earth. From the 1950s to the 1990s, the nearby Mayak nuclear facility discharged radioactive waste into Lake Karachay. The lake, once a pristine natural wonder, became a radioactive wasteland. The levels of radiation are so high that standing on the shores of Lake Karachay for just one hour could deliver a lethal dose. In the 1960s, a drought caused parts of the lake bed to dry up, exposing radioactive sediment to the wind. This resulted in a widespread radioactive dust cloud, contaminating a vast area and exposing thousands to harmful radiation. Today, Lake Karachay is largely filled in with concrete in an attempt to contain the radiation. However, the danger remains, a stark reminder of the devastating and long-lasting impact of nuclear waste. Our journey returns to Cameroon, this time to Lake Manun, a crater lake shrouded in mystery and fear. Like its neighbor, Lake Neos, Manoun harbors a deadly secret, the potential for limnic eruptions. In 1984, tragedy struck when Lake Manoon released a massive cloud of carbon dioxide, killing 37 people. The victims, caught off guard by the invisible gas, died from asphyxiation. The cause of the gas release remains uncertain, but scientists believe it was likely triggered by a landslide or seismic activity. Local villagers, who had long feared the lake, believe it to be cursed. Despite the risks, people continue to live and work near Lake Manoon. They fish in its waters, tend to their crops on its shores, their lives intertwined with this unpredictable and potentially deadly force of nature. Our penultimate destination takes us to China, to the shores of Lake Poyang, the country's largest freshwater lake. Poyang presents a unique set of challenges. Lake Poyang is a dynamic lake, its size fluctuating dramatically with the seasons. However, in recent years, Lake Poyang has been shrinking at an alarming rate. Drought and upstream dams have reduced the lake to a fraction of its former size. The once thriving fishing industry has collapsed, leaving communities struggling. The shrinking waters have also revealed a hidden danger. Vast mudflats now pose a threat to those unfamiliar with the changing landscape. Our journey concludes at Lake Victoria, Africa's largest lake and the second largest freshwater lake in the world. This vast body of water, shared by Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya, is a lifeline for millions, providing food, water, and transportation. Sudden and violent storms can whip up the lake's surface in a matter of minutes, creating treacherous waves that have claimed countless lives. Overfishing has depleted fish stocks, leading to the use of illegal fishing methods that further damage the ecosystem. Pollution from agricultural runoff and industrial waste has contaminated the water, posing risks to human health and aquatic life. And as if these challenges weren't enough, Lake Victoria harbors another threat, the Nile crocodile. These apex predators, some reaching over 20 feet in length, are a constant danger to those who venture too close to the water's edge. Despite the risks, people continue to rely on Lake Victoria for their livelihoods. Fishermen cast their nets hoping for a catch, while families draw water from its shores, their lives inextricably linked to this unpredictable and often unforgiving lake. As our exploration of these 10 dangerous lakes concludes, let us remember the power and unpredictability of the natural world. Beneath the alluring beauty of these bodies of water lie hidden dangers, forces that demand our respect. Research your destination, understand the risks, and heed local warnings. If you found this journey into the depths of danger intriguing, 
Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel to help us grow.